send hundreds of U.S. agents to even make a dent in that flow of getting heavy ammo. That is a critical question, Nancy. U.S. officials tell CBS News that the Department of Homeland Security has already internally identified a team of asylum officers and deportation agents who will be sent to Panama to help that Central American country screen migrants for humanitarian protection and also to deport those who don't qualify. It is part of an effort to reduce the flow of migrants into the notorious Darien Gap. And see, that is that jungle, a once impenetrable jungle, I should underscore, that divides Panama and Colombia, and it is now a major transit route for hundreds of thousands of migrants hoping to reach the U.S. Shut the fucking border down, you stupid fucking clowns down here in D.C. Bill. Don't you fucking get it? They're going to keep on coming through the fucking goddamn border, whether you put extra agents down here and extra agents over there. Shut the fucking border down, you fucking idiots. Jesus Christ. Just fiscal year 2023, Border Patrol reported over 2 million migrant apprehensions here. That is only the second time in U.S. history that that has ever happened, Nancy. Uh, yeah, recognition, obviously, that they need to do something differently, Camilla, but how exactly would this work? I mean, these uh, migrants are walking through this thick jungle, as you pointed out. They're not uh, walking through Panama City and stopping in at a U.S. government office. So how exactly would they, um, you know, would they apprehend these individuals? And then what would they do? Just say, you know, okay, you get to continue on your journey and you need to go back to your home country? Well, once migrants get out of the Darien jungle on foot, they are typically encountered by United Nations officials and Panamanian officials. The objective of this operation, Nancy, is to have those Panamanian officials screen these migrants, stop them, and decide whether or not they qualify for protection in Panama. And if they don't qualify for asylum in Panama, then the U.S. goal is to have those migrants deported to their home countries like Venezuela. And again, it is designed to reduce that flow into Central America before the migrants reach the U.S.-Mexico border. But this is really interesting. What uh, does the uh, Panamanian government think about this? Why are they willing to cooperate with the U.S. in this way? And, and which of the migrants, migrants from which countries, would be most likely to be allowed to continue on? It's another critical question, Nancy. I was told by U.S. officials that the Panamanian, Panamanian government, I should say, requested this assistance specifically. They asked the U.S. for money, for employees, staffing, and resources to bolster its deportation efforts because in fiscal year 2012, Panama only saw about 2,000 migrants cross the Darien jungle. Now it is half a million. So the migration flows into that country have changed dramatically. Let's hire some more people to, oh, I pick you, you can go, you can go, you can go home. And you can come into the U.S. Oh, you whole group of 5,000? Yeah, you can come into the U.S. Go right ahead. We'll let you guys walk through the border. Fucking idiots. Don't you understand the fucking American people are pissed at my fucking government. They're such fucking dirt heads. Bunch of fucking a-holes that got their head up their own asses.